In this tutorial, we are going to learn some tips and tricks on how to design a logo using grids. Let's start by selecting ellipse tool, hold shift and draw a circle like that. Make sure to set fill to none, stroke to one and have it at black. Now if we wanted to duplicate this and if you press Ctrl C and Ctrl V, it duplicates it to somewhere else. So we will delete that one. And if you press Ctrl C and Ctrl F, it duplicates it to right where this one is. It duplicates it uh, forward. And we will press Shift and Alt. We will hold, hold Shift and Alt and scale it down. And we got our smaller circle. Next, select Blend Tool and double click on it. Make sure to select this one in the middle, hit OK and select smaller circle, then select bigger circle and we have it blending eight times like that. And if you say eight is too much, then double click on blend tool again and change the number from here. So we have it blending like that five times. And we won't be able to use this like that. so select this and go over here to object expand check all those three hit ok and by holding alt and shift align this into the center like that and this will be our grid to design our logo so select this two and select shape builder tool now make sure to set stroke to zero and have fill at black and now we will carefully draw our shape while having those selected. So click and drag and carefully draw our shape. Because this is symmetrical we have to be careful while drawing. So this will be our first logo and right click on it, select, select it, right click on it and ungroup and we can now take this out by selecting it. We can take this out and this will be our first logo. Next we will make a triangle so select star tool over here and draw a star like that and while holding and not letting it go, when we press down arrow or up arrow, we can change the shape of it. So we will change it to triangle and then while still holding and shift, while pressing shift, we have it proportionally. We have our triangle proportionally, so I'll drag it over here and leave it over here and select line segment tool while holding shift create a line like that and alt and shift while holding alt and shift we move it like that and we can repeat this step constantly by pressing ctrl d so ctrl d we could either do it this way or by deleting this in the middle selecting this two and double clicking over here to blend tool we can blend those together just like we have done with our first one so there it is and double click on it change to 20 and Select, select it and object, expand, check all those three, hit OK. And now we want to align this into our triangle. And don't get yourself into action by trying to manually rotate it or so. So just type in 300 over here. And 
as you can see it's aligned with our triangle so we will delete this triangle and select this right click and go over here to transform reflect and give it a vertical reflect hit copy and we have it vertically now select this one and same process again transform reflect and type in 300 over here this time so copy and we have those straight and this will be our grid so select all of those and select shape builder tool have stroke set to zero fill at black and carefully draw our shape over here so we need to be extra careful over here if we make a mistake we will have to repeat the process And this will be our second logo so select this right click ungroup and then we can take this out while holding alt and shift I took I took it out so our second logo is complete next we'll make a polygon so select polygon tool and while holding shift draw a polygon like that leave it here and make sure stroke fill is set at none and stroke is set at one have it have stroke at black color and select line segment tool make while holding shift make a line like that move it with while holding alt and shift over here select this to double click on blend tool and choose this one in the middle and type in 9 over here select this and then select this one and we got our lines and select this go to object expand check all those three okay and same as we have done for triangle just type in 300 over here and it's also aligned with our polygon so we'll delete polygon and right click transform reflect and give it a vertical transformation so copy now select this one right click transform reflect and type in 300 over here so copy and select all of these select shape builder to change stroke to zero and set fill have fill at black and now carefully draw our shape
and right click so ungroup select all of these go over here to pathfinder and click on divide and this will be our third logo our third logo is complete so select select those ungroup and then select those one by one take our logo out and then we will delete all those select our logo ctrl g to group and we can move it 